Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. Guys, today I want to talk about all the different approaches in the raw vegan diet. So raw vegan is not raw vegan, if you know what I mean. There are so many different approaches and people are killing each other because one person is saying, yes, this is the right way. Another person is saying, no, you have to do it this way. And it's so much confusion out there. And sometimes I'm confused myself. I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> and that's why I decided I just stick to my own truth. I do whatever feels good to me, what feels right to me. I do what I think makes sense, common sense. And I use my common sense and I look at nature and I think, okay, what what would nature do? What is the most normal thing to do? And that's what I do. <laughs> and usually I, I succeed and I also see success um, when I work with my clients. So yeah, that's, that's the proof. But if you are extremely confused now and you don't know what to do anymore, because no matter where you, you look at, no matter which channel you're watching, no matter which book you're reading, everyone have everyone has a different opinion and yeah it's it's really hard nowadays to just not freak out so i wrote down some points which i think um yeah these are the most common things where people disagree on so the first thing is dehydrated foods some people are really big into dehydrating they make wraps they make raw vegan pizzas they make crackers they make cakes, everything. They put their red cheese in the dehydrator to make them more soft or whatever. They use the dehydrator almost every day. They make dried fruits and they always yeah, do something with their dehydrator. And then there are, on the other hand, there are the um, people who are just completely against dehydrating and they say no, you need the water in, in the foods and it's completely unhealthy and it will mess up your digestion. And yeah, so what to do anymore? I don't know. <coughs> I mean, I know I don't like dehydrated foods either, but that's not um, the topic of the video. I will not say what is my opinion. I just say these things who are completely confusing. So that's the first thing. Then food combining. Some folks say you have to follow food combining rules to a teeth because otherwise you will again mess up your digestion, you will feel bloated and you cannot, cannot absorb the nutrients in a proper way. And then on the other hand, there are people who are telling you it's completely unnecessary to follow any food combining rules and you can eat whatever you want, you can mix fats and sweet fruits in your smoothie and you will be just fine. Yeah, I don't know. It's confusing, right? Next thing I found is seaweed. So there are people who say seaweed is super healthy for your iodine levels and you have to eat it at least three to four times a week. And it's super good for your hormones and thyroid health and whatnot. Other people tell you don't eat seaweed. It's not natural for humans. We are not sea animals we we live on earth we are not supposed to eat seaweed so what to do next thing is fat so some people say please stay away from over overt fat best thing would be don't consume any overt fats at all other people say fats are super healthy you need omega threes in abundance you need you need healthy fats for your Again, hormone health and hormonal health and uh, I don't know. <laughs> Should we now follow a high fat diet in order to, to have glowy skin and be healthy? Or should we follow a low fat, high carb diet? Hmm. Confusing. Next thing is fruits. Some people completely avoid fruits in the raw vegan community. They say it feeds cancer, it feeds uh, pathogens, I don't know. It's just 
like a stimulant, like they compare it with drugs and they say people who are eating a lot of fruit, they are just always on, on a high and it's like, like taking drugs and the sugar is not healthy, you know. And then there are people who tell you your main calories should come from fruit. You should at least aim for 80% of your calories yeah, should come from fruit and eat as much as you want. Eat maybe 30 bananas a day and carb up, carb up, carb the fuck up. <laughs> you know, confusing. Next thing, smoothies. Some people tell you, yes, smoothies are perfect. You have to drink at least one smoothie every day. Green smoothies are the best and they are already pre-digested. It's easy to digest. You don't have to um, like such a big effort if the food is already blended and it's perfect. You can put so much different nutrients in there. Other people say, no, drinking smoothies is not natural. You will mess up your digestion. It's not good to put so much different ingredients into one smoothie. And again, it, it's not good for your digestion, for your, um, what would I say? Um, food combining, for food combining, because sometimes smoothie recipes are crazy with 10 different ingredients and mixing fats and sugar. Mm, confusing, confusing, same juices um should we drink juice some folks are promoting it like crazy they are experts on juicing they offer programs selling their juice fasting programs and other people say don't do that ever don't go on a juice fast don't go on a juice cleanse just don't do it it's unhealthy you will gain weight afterwards you will um, binge eat afterwards and people are confused what should we do anymore next thing is salads some folks are really big on salads they say you need all the greens eat your greens every day and it's so important for your minerals and also calcium magnesium and amino acids all that stuff eat your greens and then there are people they are just completely fruitarians, so they don't eat any greens at all. They, they just survive on fruit only. And that's what they promote. And they say it's not natural for humans to eat greens. And imagine if you would have to eat plain greens, like lettuce with nothing on it, with no sauces, with no salad dressings, then you would not enjoy it. <sighs> what to do? I don't know. Confusing. Next thing is organic or non-organic. Some people say, if you don't buy organic food, you, you will basically die because all the pesticides and it's so unhealthy, it's sprayed and all the toxins will accumulate in your body and you just, you set, your up, set yourself up for failure. So that's their opinion. And then there are people who say, no, these days it's, it's anyways also the organic stuff is sprayed and it's you can eat non-organic as well it doesn't matter so again <laughs> it's so crazy then <clears throat> next thing would be powders and supplements some people will try to, to to sell you any powders and green powders and supplements and they say you have to supplement with this and that and of course vitamin B12 and vitamin D and zinc and vitamin C and whatnot. And then there are other people who say no, it's not good to supplement at all. We don't need any supplements, just eat fruits and vegetables and you will be fine. You will be the healthiest human being, just stick to a raw vegan diet and we don't need to supplement. So. Don't ask me. <laughs> Next thing is high calorie intake. So some people say you really have to carve up. You have to eat so much calories on a raw vegan diet because otherwise you will be deficient in all different kinds of nutrients and you will have no energy and you will not be able to gain muscles. So 
then there are people who tell you no 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 if you are on a raw vegan diet then with every year you will need less you will need to eat less because your body will become more efficient and you just don't need so much calories anymore and maybe one or two years from now you can really decrease your calorie intake and you will still sustain yourself and not lose weight so what can we do ah <laughs> uh, yes i told you it's confusing next thing is fermented foods <sighs> that's a huge one too so there are so many people promoting it and yeah telling you you need fermented foods you need it because of your microbiome, your gut microbiome and all these bacteria will thrive if you feed them fermented foods and it will help you to just be the best version of yourself and whatnot. And then there are people who are telling you, no, don't eat fermented foods ever. It's moldy, it's not good, it's not supposed for human beings and you should just stay away from it. Next thing, sprouts. Sprouts are super high in protein, in minerals, they are just superfoods. Everyone should sprout, just start sprouting and put sprouts into your salads every day, your life will change. Then someone else is telling you don't eat sprouts. Animals in nature are not sprouting their things and no, it's not natural, you should stay away, it's way too much protein, we don't need so much protein on a raw vegan diet, and it's so confusing. And another thing, oils. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it's fat, concentrated, 100% fat, and some raw vegans tell you it's isolated fat, don't eat it, you're not supposed to eat oils, it's not natural, it will make you gain weight, it will just add up um, with your calorie intake and that's not necessary to consume so, so many calories with, which basically don't satis satisfy you. And on the other hand, there are some people who tell you, no, cold pressed olive oil, for example, is so healthy and it has antioxidants and coconut oil coconut oil another thing you should um, consume coconut oil and it has these healthy fats I don't know yeah confusing confusing and then I have three more crucifer vegetables <laughs> like broccoli and cauliflower people tell you it's not human food if you should eat it like again without if you eat it without um, sauces without fats without dressings just plain you would not like it and that's that's a sign that you're not supposed to eat it then there are other folks who are telling you you should eat crucifers vegetables at least three times a week because it's so good for your gut microbiome it will feed all the good bacteria and the fiber is important and <laughs> I don't know yeah confusing again then two more uh, 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 no one more nuts people tell you you should eat nuts every day in small amounts in your salad dressing because at least yeah some nuts are important and for especially for women with hormonal issues or you just need a little bit more fat in your diet as a woman and then there are people who are telling you stay away from nuts human in nature or animals in nature would not eat nuts because it's so much to do to peel a nut and eat it and you would not be satisfied and it would be too much work to peel enough nuts to make a meal out of it so in nature you would you would rather grab a fruit from a tree and eat it instead of peeling these tiny little nuts and trying to to feel sati satiated on it so that's not going to happen so you're not not supposed to eat nuts yeah and i'm sure there are more things people disagreeing on so i don't know that's just um what i came up with and yeah 
sure there are more things and let me know in the comments below if you have more topics more um, yeah just more things people disagree on and how do you handle it like I said for me I just try to figure out what makes most sense and I listen to my body and I just try to do what resonates with me so and I think you should do the same there's no other solution on that you otherwise you, you just freak out you freak out and it's not even we're not even talking about different diet diets beliefs so for example there are carnivore diets there are omnivore diets there are high carb low fat we're just talking about the differences in between in the raw vegan community so within the raw vegan community there is already so much confusion so i'm not even talking about other folks out there who are not in the raw vegan community so if you would start comparing yeah the differences between between the raw vegan community and some other folks then we would go completely crazy but i'm assuming you are um, watching this video because you're interested in raw veganism or plant-based lifestyle at least so yeah i'm consuming <laughs> i'm assuming you are not interested in comparing these topics with other diet cultures but uh, it's really hard it's hard and with this video i just want to say you are not alone we are all in the same situation and we are confused today everyone is telling you something different and we just have to stay focused and not freak out about it that's in my opinion it's the only solution the only thing you can do is just stay in your head and just don't freak out meditate if necessary and then yeah just do what resonates with you so and if you need help to find the best way to find a diet that is working for you and bring you results you can contact me i am offering a german coaching program and you will just learn so much <laughs> but if you are not from german or if you're not able to understand german language then you can still reach out to me and i can make a um, meal plan for you i can make meal plans in english and we can figure out how much do you need to eat how much calories do you need how much fruit how much fats how much whatever we can figure it out together and then yeah you just don't need to be so confused anymore if you have an actual plan in front of you it can really be helpful so that being said i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and i see you in my next video thanks for watching so much love and peace out bye guys